for that reason, we shall, we shall support those working for peace and humanity. UNESCO, it's the conscience, if you like, of the United Nations, the Human Rights Council, the International Criminal Court, UNRWA, to whom we continue to contribute. As I remind you here, the idea at the end of the day is allowing hundreds of thousands of children to go to school. That's it. We intend to defend the broadening of the Security Council in the two member categories to ensure that the composition reflect current balances and that the Council remain a place of cooperation and rather, rather than obstructionism. We will ensure that by the end of the year, the General Assembly and the two-thirds of its membership be able to support the limitation of the veto right in case of mass atrocities. We shall defend international humanitarian law in support of those risking their lives to assist civilians on the ground by negotiating, in each and every case, humanitarian access. During the anniversary of the 1948 declaration, we were reminded that human rights are not a cultural fact, negotiable values. No, they are fundamental values enshrined in international treaties as committed to freely by this very assembly. We recall that the uni universality is compatible with the sovereignty of peoples and is indeed the only way to preserve and ensure people's enjoyment of their fundamental rights. France shall remain there to ensure that the world not forget that nationalism always leads to defeat, that if courage is lacking, in the defense of fundamental principles, inter international order becomes fragile. And this can lead, as we've seen already twice, to global war. We saw that with our very own eyes. On 11 November 2018, the Forum in Paris will be a time for a melding of the minds to find that courage again, to find what unites us here. It's to be an opportunity to renew our firm commitment to the preservation of future generations from the scourge of war. It is my intention to take with other interested parties new responsibilities. Over the course of the forum, we should identify the actual ways and means to achieve lasting peace. Friends, I know you may be tired of multilateralism. I also know that the world is flooded with information and one becomes indifferent. It all starts to look like a big show. It all starts to look like even the worst things can become trendy. And it becomes difficult to extricate the cause from the, co uh, the, cause from the effect. Well, this is not a matter of being trendy, ladies and gentlemen. For those who've brought us here, we have a duty. We must never forget that genocides which led to you being here today. The very genocides which are even fueled by certain divisions that I spoke of earlier, and indeed the erosion of the global order which I spoke of earlier, all of this happens because we turn our head. We turn our heads and we remain complacent. But that is not what I intend to do. No, that is because I be come from a country which is, yes, we've made a lot of mistakes. My country has made a lot of mistakes. But it is a country which in, at every turn of its history and in international history has thought 
of that very principle of universality. And so please, don't get used to it. Don't become indifferent. Indifferent. Do not accept the erosion of multilater multilateralism. Don't, ex don't accept our history unraveling. I'm not getting used to this, and I'm not turning my head to it. Our children are watching. Let us address the crises. Let us work together to combat all of these equalities. But let us do this on a human level and mindful of the principles guided by our history, history and the principle of universe, universality and universalism. That is my commitment to you, and I count on you.